Okay, so this is another example of how to use quotient rule when taking the derivative of a quotient. So the question reads, find the derivative of f at x equals 3x minus 4 over 2x squared minus 1. So the first thing I'm going to do is label my function. So I'm going to label the top function as g of x and this bottom function as h of x. A reminder of the formula for quotient rule is when you take the derivative of one function over another function, you can do so by taking the derivative of the top function, multiplying it by the bottom function, and subtracting the derivative of the bottom function multiplied by the top function, and then divide this all by the bottom function squared. So there's two ways you can do this. One, you can break it up into steps, or two, you can just follow the formula and do it all at once. I'll do it all at once first and then show you after how you could break it up into steps to make it maybe a little bit easier for you. So to do it all at once, you just take the derivative of the first function, so 3, multiply it by the second function, 2x squared minus 1, subtract the derivative of the bottom function, which is 4x, and multiply that by the top function, which is 3x minus 4, and then divide it all by the bottom function squared. So I'm just going to simplify the top so it looks a little bit nicer. So it will simplify into 6x squared minus 3 minus 12x squared plus 16x all over the bottom squared. And then that can also be simplified into negative 6x squared because you're collecting 6x squared and negative 12x squared plus 16x minus 3 all over 2x squared minus 1 squared. So that is your final answer. That is the derivative of f of x. So a way you can maybe make this a little bit simpler for you if just using the formula is a little too fast you can actually break this down into steps. So what you can do is find the derivative of the first function and then find the derivative of the second function and then plug those values in. So what you'd do is you'd write out g of x, which is 3x minus 4, take the derivative of it, which is 3, and then you'd write out h of x, which is 2x squared minus 1, and then take the derivative of that function, which is 4x, and then what you simply do is where you see h prime of x, plug in h prime of x, which is 4x. Where you see g prime of x, you plug in g prime of x, which is 3. And where you see h of x and g of x, you plug in the original functions. And for the bottom, you take all of h of x and square it. So you can put this in brackets and just add a squared for h of x squared. So that is two ways to find the derivative of f of x when using quotient rule.